car, 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 girl. The girl's knowledge of her. The girl's knowledge of her. The world's gnarliest trees. The world's gnarliest trees. Man. This is a section of a talk from our Mission English program where you can take all of the strategies to any word. We're going to focus on R and L, but the big thing is starting off with vowel sounds and then putting back in the consonants as well. Let me show you an example of how this works. And, you know, just some, some basic tips about for this, for these like RL combinations. Um, so it's, it's really important not to let the R overpower everything because that can happen very easily and get like a, like a R type sound. But again, really try to focus on breath and airflow. So it's not really R, it's more R. Er, like if you do an R sound like three times, you want to get a sound like er, 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 er. And if you find yourself doing like an er, er, er type sound, then that's a little bit too closed off, right? Conversely, you can also have the tongue too low and you get like an eh, eh, eh sound and that's not what we're going for either. You do need to back your tongue a little high. Um, as you link this to the L, you do want to shift to a dark L type sound. It's like er, er, er. So it's not er, -l. er. -l. I would try to get a little more air through at the end. Er -oh. Er -oh. It's like er -oh, er -oh, er -oh. It just very slightly opens up a little bit more as we get to that dark L sound. Er -oh, er -oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Can you do oh, oh, er -oh. Oh, oh, er -oh. When you're doing that er sound, where's the tip of your tongue? Well, it's nowhere. It's just curled up. Okay, no, can you curl it down? Him. Can you curl it down? When I'm saying, er, er, that's with the back of my tongue high and the front of my tongue down. Er, er. Now, there's nothing wrong. You can certainly make an R sound with the R curled up. Like, er, 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 er. You might be able to hear a little bit of a sound difference. I feel like I am. Like, er yeah. versus er, er. That's a slight difference. Er. Yeah. Okay, and that second one, that's with my tongue down. And one thing I'm feeling is I'm feeling more air pass through. So in a lot of ways, I'm actually kind of preferring that um that that lower position for the R. Er -oh. Er -oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you do that a couple times for me? Er per er per er per. Er per er per er per. Yeah, that was really good. That last pair was really good. Oh oh oh. Er per pearl. Er per pearl. Er per pearl. Er per per er per pearl. Where's the dark go? Yeah, we're <laughs> ready to go. <laughs> um, so again, this is a slightly firmer all sound at the end. How about girl? Girl. Girl. Just a little more open again on the dark L at the end. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. More open. Girl. 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 But I can, just, I can also have my mouth wider. Girl. Girl. I could. Um, but again, it's not like you have to have your mouth that wide. Girl. That last one was a bet. Mm -hmm. I would go a little faster on the R. Girl. Girl. That was really good. Um, another thing to kind of think about with these two, you know, these, um, because we're almost kind of splitting these into two syllables, right? So um, pitch can also be helpful too, um, because that that all sound is typically going to be at a lower pitch than the, uh, the, the syllable that comes before it. So for instance, like, hurl, hurl. Oh. Mm -hmm. And even a little bit weaker and a little faster. Hurl. Hurl. Mm -hmm. Even weaker if you can. Hurl. Hurl. That was really good. Can you say that for me three times? Like, hurl, hurl, hurl. Hurl, hurl, hurl. That was really good. I, re I really like that, that group of three. That's probably your strongest group of three today. <laughs>